Hey guys, welcome back for some more Mario & Luigi Superstar Saga. In the last episode, we discovered that we're our next location to head off to is Little Fungi Town. And, actually no, that was in the episode before. In the last episode, we just made some preparations before heading off to Teehee Valley, which is on the way to Little Fungi Town. In this episode, we're going to Teehee Valley. That's, that's where we're going. Where did you think we were going? Master Mario, Master Luigi. Ooh, sorry to keep you waiting. Now then, Master Mario, Master Luigi, please be sure to take the utmost, the utmost, most diligent, sincerest care of Princess Peach. I'll be back before you know it. Okay, Mario and Luigi, let's go to Little Fungi Town. Princess, be careful! Hmm, why do I get the feeling I forgot to say something vital? Oh, that's right! Master Mario, wait! Oh, now I've done it! Master Mario, I forgot to tell you one vital tidbit. And now look what has just happened. If you let the princess out of your sight like we just did, she'll get kidnapped instantly. I beg of you, rescue her and take care to ensure that you do not leave her side again. And if the princess gets too far ahead of you, please stop her and talk some sense into her. I have asked her to return by the same path she took if you should speak to her. And with that, good luck. I am counting on you. So, yeah. With that, we see one new enemy, and we have discovered the little um, gimmick of this area. But first, we have two new enemies, actually. We have the Gritty Goomba and the Spiky Sniffit. Both of these enemies are spiked, so jumping is useless. However, the Spiky Sniffits are weak to Mario's fire hand, as you know, they're cacti, so makes sense. Uh, Gritty Goombas just have that one attack where they put sand everywhere, and then they will um, charge at one of the bros. To tell which one they're charging at, it's really just which um, whichever one they're slightly closer to when they, like, do that little pause. Um, the spiky sniffets are not resistant or healed by Luigi's Thunder Hand. Um, but the hammer is good, so I'm just gonna use that. Uh, the spiky sniffets attacks are a little bit weird. So, basically, they'll shake a little arm, whichever arm it is, just pen, uh, shows which bro they're going for. If they take a while to charge up, they're gonna char they're gonna shoot a spike ball straight at you. If they don't- if they shoot quickly, that means the spike ball is gonna bounce right over you, and sometimes they'll shoot a mushroom. So, fairly complicated enemies, actually, for this game. Um, so swing bros, as I mentioned before, uh, you want to use this as much as possible. Getting advanced swing bros actually isn't that hard, but you want to get it as soon as possible. And, okay, again, if you mess up swing bros, it acts like it's an, it's an attack that jumps on an enemy, but if you do it right, then it doesn't. Die. There you go. <laughs> Sadly, that attack doesn't, like, stop once the enemy has run out of HP. You can keep going with it, so you won't actually know when you're done. Uh, I'm gonna use it on you, actually. And there we go. Again, Swing Bros is also a very strong attack, so it's good to use it anyway. Ouch. Um... And I forgot, are you weak to Mario's no, you're not, but still. Uh, we had two red peppers from that. I think the gritty Goombas are the ones that drop that, if I if I remember correctly. So you want to fight a lot of gritty Goombas if you can, because, you know, it's good too. Also, wait, I want to just do that, because Mario's going to be using Swing Bros a lot. So we fall down this pipe, uh, we go in here, and we see they're like worshipping Princess Peach or maybe like trying to summon a demon so that she can act as a sacrifice. 
And this brings me to the other thing about Gritty Goombas, is that you can technically fight an infinite amount of them while doing this little mission with Princess Peach, ex escorting her through Gritsy Desert. Um, because she will get kidnapped if she if she goes off screen, whenever that happens, there will be two Gritty Goombas around for you to fight. So you can technically fight infinite Gritty Goombas if, if, you, if you want to do so. So yeah, that's that. Uh, I kind of want to get you... Yeah, Swing Bros can also be a bit harder depending on who's closer to you, just because, again, the window of time to press B is a little bit shorter. Um, but yeah. And why not fight you? Some more experience. Okay. Yeah, the ones that dance around are a little bit hard to hit for some reason. Like, even if it seems like you hit them, sometimes the hitbox is a little bit weird. Yeah, once you get the hang of using Swing Bros, it becomes one of your best options because of how easy it is to do and uh, how much damage it does. And also, that that little Princess Peach face is kind of cute, kind of adorable. Okay, so once freed, she will start walking along a set path. This means that you can't really explore this area too much. You kind of have to stay with her, but you can backtrack later if you want to explore. And also, we're gonna have to fight the enemies along the way, because if any enemies touch her, even if she's on screen, she'll be kidnapped. So, yeah. Alrighty. So, let's keep going. And now, once she gets to the end of the screen, y you don't want to just move along with her. She'll talk to you once she gets to the end of the screen. And then you can move on with her. And, pff, okay, we apparently just left Luigi there for a second. And, no. Yeah, with the fact that you can technically fight infinite gritty Goombas, and the fact that you kind of have to fight some anyway for this, this makes this area a good grinding area, um, if you feel underleveled. I don't, I feel like I'm at like a good level right now, and oh! Alright, so we learned advanced swing bros, nice. It's good that we got it this early. Um, yeah, I kind of want to be able to show it off, so I'm just going to have Luigi give Mario some syrup. Or I guess Luigi some syrup. <laughs> okay, oops. Uh, so yeah, so Advanced Swing Bros. Uh, I'm going to put to one, just so I can remember how to do it. It's a little tricky. So, Luigi goes there. And then there's a little window of opportunity when he's flying back at Mario, where he'll throw his hands out, and that's where you gotta press A. And then the Mario Brothers defy all laws of physics to do that shit. And then you mash A and B together. And doing that will not only- it won't deal a lot of damage, the advanced version, it won't add on a lot of damage. Or, does it actually do any damage? I don't even remember, I wasn't paying attention. If it does, then cool, but I don't think it's a lot anyway. Um, but yeah, doing that, as you saw, will actually give you an item. It will usually give you a rare item that the enemy that you're attacking has a low chance of dropping. This is very good. Um, yeah, all the Mario Luigi games, I, if, as far as I recall, have some sort of way of you getting rare items. This is this game's uh, main way of getting rare items. Uh, let's see. I'm gonna go for some defense. Mario takes quite a bit of damage. More than I'd like. Luigi? Honestly, I'm thinking about going for defense too. Eh, wait, there's some ones on there. Uh, Pow looks nice. Um, speed doesn't. I I'm gonna go for Pow. Alright, two's not bad. So yeah, and ooh, okay, you wanna hit this before she gets to it. And there you go. If you don't hit it before she gets to the gate, then she'll just touch the gate and then move away. Alright, um now we're starting to get into some other stuff here. Uh we're actually gonna have to fight these enemies first. So yeah, as you saw, the uh, spiky snippets can drop red peppers. Not every goom not every enemy has a rare drop that you can get with advanced swing bros, but most of them do. All right, uh, greedy goombas just give you mushrooms, 
and I forget if oop, I messed that up. I actually forgot if we saw, but I'm pretty sure that there is a particular item in this game that boosts your power based on how many mushrooms you have in your inventory. And so that's a good way to power that badge up. I can't remember if we've encountered that before, if that's even in this game. Because again, I don't really remember, I, I'm not in tune with this game as much as the other games in the series. Um, but yeah, uh, we want to hit this button, and now make a barrel appear over there, and... Um... Yeah, okay. <laughs> Alright, so we gotta go rescue her, but basically what we gotta do is let her walk over to here, and we gotta um, basically race her up these stairs and into the barrel. Uh, first let's go rescue her. And I kinda just feel like getting the hammer ready on Mario. Okay. Aya, There we go. And pfft. Good. Oop. Cause that's what happens when you mess that up. It's kinda funny. And, uh, yeah, why not? Uh, there we go. Okay, that's what we want to do. Jump up here. Smash this. Put Luigi in the barrel. Walk over here. Get your ooh hoo 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 ready. And then back. And then get your, <laughs> and then there you go. Okay, and now here we got essentially the same thing. So let's walk through it and just see what we gotta do, and also kill any enemies that are here. Alrighty. Uh, see, so we got a bunch of these platforms here, um, and then there's a gate at the end, and another gritty goomba. Okay, and there's the end, and then she will turn around. Um, yeah, I didn't really like directly mention this, I don't think, but you know, you can kind of get, or you've seen, um, that when you talk to Princess Peach, she will turn around, which is what we're gonna to use right now. All right, so we gotta race her there. No. Oh. Uh. Uh. Uh, there we go, okay. That was close. Alright, we're almost a little fungi town. Little fungi town, the Mushroom Kingdom immigrant community. Little fungi town is up ahead. Don't let your guard down yet. As she walks off without us. Uh, so we have a chance to just look around a little bit. There's a lot of, in this area, there's a lot of these, like, like, look, there's nothing over here. There's not even, like, a secret bean or anything, as far as I know. And it's like, they have a lot of these little crevices and just empty areas with nothing in them. I guess to make it just fit the desert, um, feeling a bit more, but whatever. Also, I want to comment while we have some time on this music. Give it a listen. Oh, it's just so good. It really is. Anyway, uh, yeah, I just wanted to do that so you can listen to it. Um, so if save album right here. I do want to use this because there is something coming up that we might not get, and it'll be our only time in the game to be able to get it. 
So, yeah. I do want to show what that is, because it's a decently good thing, if I can recall. But yeah, you also want to make sure to say to heal up right about here. I probably should have done that before I saved, but whatever. That's okay. Uh, okay. Let's go. Hey, hey, man. This looks bad. Uh, go, go rescue her. Huh? Something that huge? That's impossible. It's impossible. Forget. Hey man, isn't that Mario? You're right, talk about lucky. Mario, Luigi, help me! A lot bigger in battle, this is... Trunkle! Now, this is an interesting boss. For one, you can actually target the little tree on his head. The tree on his head, they share... How do I explain this? Um... Basically, if you kill either him or the tree, the whole boss will be dead. The tree has a lot more defense than the body, but also less health. So, essentially, it's a challenge mode. If you want to go for a little bit of a challenge, try to kill the tree. Um, the tree takes a, um, a lot of reduced damage. Um, or you could just attack the body to do this normally. Now, what I was talking about with the thing that you can only get here, there is a an a item that he drops that is one of a kind in the game. You can't get it anywhere else, and you're likely to go playing this game without even finding it. So you want to use advanced swing bros. Now, the only thing I don't know is if you can get it by using advanced swing bros on the tree. I've never heard of anything against this. I feel like I might want to do this just so that I don't kill him without showing it. So, I think I want to go with attacking the tree first. No, we didn't get it. Whoa. Okay, yeah. His attacks can be a little bit weird to dodge, but, you know. Uh, and I'm going to have Luigi just deal some chip damage while I'm working on the tree. Um. Oop, I missed my chance, god damn it. So yeah, depending on which arm he swings goes is shows which bro he's going for, but if the like little hand um is like spinning weird, that means it's gonna go for the other bro. Alright, come on. Come on. No, god damn it, I'm bad. I'm starting to attack twice. That means he's low on health, I think. I don't know, usually attacking twice means low health in games. In these games, anyway. Um. Ah. Oh. Whoa. Pfft. Good. Also, Mario took less damage than Luigi. Is Mario's defense higher? I don't remember it being. Or it could be. Um. Right. Come on. Do it. No! Ugh. Yeah, this part. Um, yeah, after a while of taking damage, he will do this. He will split up into a bunch of little trunkles and have you guess which one is the quote-unquote real one, even though they all are kind of real. If you don't defeat this phase after a while, he will reform, and I think he gets most of his health back. So, yeah, this is kind of your time to defeat him. I don't know if being in the small form makes it so that you can't get the item from him. Oh, wait, that wasn't it? Jeez, I'm usually good at those kind of, like, guessing games. Alright, well, that one's not him. 
Yeah, counterattack and can easily show you which one's which. Uh, okay, can I take a turn to, like, heal a little bit? Is that safe? I don't know. Okay, good. Come on, big money. Alright, he could drop a super nut. Eh, I guess I'll just still attack him anyway. Come on. Ah. Oh. Well, there he goes. He can also drop a one-up mushroom. So, yeah, I kind of want to show off what he drops. So, I am going to reset. So, I will be right back. Only takes seven damage from that anyway. And, oh, we can see this other attack that he has. He will inhale things at you. Yes, this is Bowser's Inside Story. And, whoa, you gotta watch out for the poison mushrooms, because they will poison you. And he can heal some of his health with that. Okay, uh... Refreshing herbs, the most, the least used item in the game, but still a good item to have anyway. Welcome back to Charlie wastes a lot of time and footage trying to get an item on this episode. Um, I don't yeah, uh, come on, baby. Again on this episode, the time was wasted for not. Oh, it dropped a super nut, so maybe it could, but whatever. Ooh, more attacks from the little guys. Whoa. <laughs> they just hit you with their, like, big old fists. Alright, so I didn't get the item, but the item I was trying to show will be put on screen now. It's called the Lucky Bros Badge, and that's what it does. Okay. Mario gets a level up. And now I just realized that I'm annoyed because in the the second attempt at this, I got a few 1-Up Mushrooms out of it, but now I don't get to keep those. That sucks. Um, okay. Let's see. Uh, we could go for POW, maybe? Uh, BP would be cool. It'd be nice, actually, given what we have now. Advanced Swing Bros. Two is not bad. For Luigi. Let's give him... Doesn't need any more defense. Uh, speed would be nice. Again, two's not bad. Today's just two day, but it's not. It's Wednesday, so. Oh, if only I was filming this yesterday, then it could have been Tuesday. Anyway, it it looks like they got it. By the way, I'm not doing a toad voice just because right now I think that would kill my voice. And today is not a good day for that. So yeah, that monster blocking the gate to our town was a huge problem needless to say. Thanks. Yeah, if you come to this area without Princess Peach, you will see Trunkle blocking the entrance to like like where the toads are standing. He'll be just there sleeping, so you know. That. Welcome to Little Fungi Town. Princess Peach, to the Mario Brothers. We'll be, we've been waiting for you. We were told to expect you. Please, we insist you use the lift and back. <laughs> Tee hee, I just, I, w I wonder just what kind of town it is. Ooh, I can't wait. Okay, Mario, and you too, Luigi. Hop on. Princess Peach, is that you, Your Highness? We heard you were coming from Toadsworth, but so soon? We're so honored to have you come all this way here. And over here we have the Superstar Mario. And Luigi, are you for real? We don't deserve such an incredible honor. Yeah, of course Luigi's gonna blush. That's like the most, like, Kiss ass he's gotten this entire game. Thanks for your hospitality. V very well then, uh, allow us to show you around Little Fungi Town. Mario, Luigi, thank you so much for all for what for, bleh, for all that you've done. I'm all right now. 
you two can relax a little and walk around and enjoy the sights. We can all meet up again in a little bit later. So with that, we did not get the item that Trunkle drops, but actually if I recall correctly, it's, it's a good item, but it's not something necessary and probably not something I'm going to use much anyway. But yeah. So with that, we made it through Tihi Valley, and we made it to Little Fungi Town. And in the next episode, we're going to be exploring Little Fungi Town, and maybe going back through Tihi Valley and seeing if there's anything else there. I don't actually recall seeing any bean spots or any item blocks that were there, which is kind of nice of them to do, you know, not put anything there that you can't get until later, because that's just kind of, you know, dickish. But anyway, in the next episode, we're at least going to be checking out Little Fungi Town and seeing what it has to offer us. So, thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Bye!